Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse Rogers. I am the Prevention Program Director at RIM Family Services. You are watching an episode of Between Two Pines, where we interview someone in the community in regards to alcohol and drug-related issues. Today's episode is brought to you by RIM Communities for Youth Coalition, whose mission is to promote positive life choices within the RIM communities in an effort to eliminate alcohol and substance abuse by our youth. Joining us today is Angela Harrington, CEO of Mountain Counseling. As someone in recovery, she will be sharing some tips on how to get through the holidays. Welcome, Angela. We're so glad to have you. Hello, everyone. As Jesse said, I am Mountain Counseling CEO. I am also a recovering alcoholic who struggled through alcoholism for 10 years and just celebrated my third year sober on December 3rd. That's awesome. Well, Angela, let's go ahead and dive right in with our questions. Um, with your experience and knowledge, what are some tips for those in recovery that may be experiencing depression or loneliness and may be tempted to use? For those of you in recovery, everybody knows that every day is a struggle, but during the holidays, it becomes a lot worse. There's anxiety uh, that happens around the holidays with gift giving and family parties and then there's also uh, bouts of depression that happen when we're alone. So I like to keep a journal and do some progress tracking and maybe even look back to my previous years at the holiday times and see how I was coping with it then and really just look at my mindset change, my attitude change, and how far I've come in the past three years with not, with not drinking. Um, I also like to call a friend if I'm feeling alone and just have that connection and talk to somebody who's familiar with me, who knows me, uh, and ask them questions about their family and hear some positive news. And the third thing I would say is seek out a meeting. Uh, there's tons of AA meetings all over most communities, and the people that you connect with in those rooms can really help you get motivated and stay on track. That's great. Would you also suggest anything in particular for being in social situations, maybe where alcohol is present? Ah, uh, yes, the famous alcohol holidays. <laughs> Everybody gathering and most of the time there's alcohol there because that's how people celebrate during the holidays. So whether it's spiked eggnog or punch or whatever it may be at uh, family gatherings or friends gatherings, you do feel left out when you're left with water. So I always like to bring my own non-alcoholic drink, uh, whether that be some sparkling water with some juice and some fruit so I can make my little drink too and feel included. Um, or if it's just sparkling apple cider, but bring a fancy glass, bring your own non-alcoholic drink and participate in your own way. When things get overwhelming at family parties or friends gatherings, I step outside and I go take a few deep breaths of fresh air and I remind myself that today I get to show up authentically as myself and I don't have to live the dark life of an alcoholic anymore. Mm -hmm. And I remember that my friends and family admire me because Although I may not be participating in shop time, I get to still be me throughout the whole party and hold my composure. And I'm sure some of them would wish that they could be holding a glass of sparkling cider instead of wine. And so it just makes me feel good that I know the people around me admire me, whether they say anything or not. Yeah, I love that. Those are amazing tips. Angela, we really appreciate um, just your vulnerability and being here today and, and giving us some information. Um, we also appreciate your time and being a part of the RIM Communities for Youth Coalition. And for those of you that are watching, if you have a heart for prevention of underage drinking and drug abuse and would like to be a part of the coalition, we encourage you to connect with us here at RIM Family Services, and we can add you to our email distribution list for reminders of when we meet which is the second Tuesday of every month at noon on Zoom. And to receive information, you can email rcfycoalition at rimfamilyservices.org, or you can text your name and email to 
1-800-273-0586. Well, again, thank you, Angela, for joining us today. And we hope all of you out there have a very happy and safe holiday. Happy holidays.